In this video I will tell you about Landsat data levels and tiers in Google Earth Engine. Before we begin please make sure to subscribe to my channel for more beginners oriented and short Google Earth Engine videos also press the bell icon for notifications when I upload a new video. When we search for any Landsat dataset in Google Earth Engine for example Landsat 8, it shows us various data levels and tiers. I will start with real-time tier. Derived from raw scenes, the real-time tier contains data received from Landsat 8 and Landsat 7 immediately after acquisition. The important feature of this tier to remember is that estimated radiometric and geometric calibration parameters are applied to the raw scenes, which are made available for download within 12 hours after acquisition. The top of atmosphere tier contains scenes that are not calibrated to surface reflectance values. The image pixel values are in the form of digital numbers. The image is geometrically corrected, and the Earthorectification RMSE value decides what tier it is to be placed in for example tier 1 or tier 2. If I am doing research tier 1 has RMSE value less than 12 meters which is good, and I will prefer this over tier 2. Tier 2 has RMSE value greater than 12 meters, which is not suitable for research. You can also manually apply calibration to this tier using atmospheric correction module that will convert the DNs into reflectance. Please watch my video on image calibration in Google Earth Engine. The surface reflectance tier contains scenes that are calibrated to surface reflectance values. Unlike TOA tier, images in the SR tier are geometrically corrected, and the Earthorectification RMSE value decides what tier it is to be placed in for example tier 1 or tier 2. I will add links in this video description that explains radiometric and geometric correction concept. If you learned something please like this video, ask me in comments, or send me an email. I will see you in the next one. Peace.